Every map of Earth involves deliberate choices about what to emphasize. The Mercator projection we commonly use inflates the size of wealthy northern countries. This visual distortion has real consequences for how we view global importance. The thing is, the Gall-Peters map corrects these size relationships, forcing us to see Earth's true proportions for the first time. Think about the maps you grew up with in school. They probably made Greenland look as big as Africa, but in reality, Africa is 14 times larger than Greenland. That's the problem with the Mercator projection. It warps our world to make navigation easier, but distorts our perception of what matters. The Gall-Peters map flips this power dynamic by showing land masses at their true relative sizes. And when you see it for the first time, it's actually shocking how different the world looks. Have you ever noticed how maps can shape our understanding without you even realizing it? The Gall-Peters projection isn't just about geographic accuracy, it's about challenging who gets to appear important on our maps. When Europe and North America shrink to their actual size and Africa and South America expand to theirs, it forces us to question the stories we've been told about global importance. Maps aren't just tools for navigation, they're powerful statements about who and what deserves space in our world. So what happens when we start seeing regions like Africa at their true scale? The Gall-Peters map has become a symbol for social justice groups looking to correct historical imbalances. By giving accurate visual weight to regions that have been traditionally minimized, it pushes us to reconsider global relationships. It challenges us to see beyond old colonial perspectives and recognize the true proportions of our shared planet. But here's the twist. The Gall-Peters map isn't perfect either. No flat map can perfectly represent our round Earth without some kind of distortion. What makes the Gall-Peters projection valuable isn't that it's flawless, but that it disrupts our comfortable assumptions about how the world should look. It asks us to question why we accepted certain distortions as normal in the first place. And that questioning might be the most valuable thing any map can offer us. While no map can perfectly represent our spherical world on flat paper, the Gall-Peters projection forces us to confront our biases. In the end, the most accurate map might be the one that challenges us to see differently.